more integrals, of definite integrals, uh, valuation of integrals. So we integrate with the pair of x, which goes with the pair of x between the natural log of 4 and 0. So this is going to go to e to the pair of the natural log of x or 4, which is going to be just 4 minus e to the pair of 0, which is 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. Integrating cos x, cos x goes to sine x between pi over 2 and 0. So what do we get? We want to do it in degree form, the sine of 90 minus the sine of 0. And you know from your unit circle, the sine of 90 up here is going to be the point 0, 1. The sine of 90 is 1, the sine of 0 is 0. So we're going to get 1. Four, we have to integrate sine x which goes to minus cos x you can factor out the minus if you want or leave it in between pi over 2 90 and pi over 4 45 if you're using degrees in your calculator maybe just jot them down a bit of rough work so we're going to get minus the cos of 90 minus minus if you want to write it like that but it's going to be plus minus by a minus plus the cos of 45 and from our unit circle previously the cos of 90 is 0 cos of 45 is 1 over root 2 so the answer here would just be 1 over root 2 question 5 pretty much the same as question 1 e to the x goes to e to the x when we integrate to differentiate between the natural log of 5 and the natural log of 2 so e to the ln x is equal to x or e to the ln 5 is equal to 5 minus e to the ln 2 which is equal to 2 5 minus 2 is 3 number 6 we're integrating cos which going in that direction positive goes to sine so we have 2 sine x between pi over 3 which is 60 and pi over 6 which is 30 so we get twice the sine of 60 minus twice the sine of 30. Sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. 2 by root 3 over 2 minus twice sine of 30 is a half. So therefore we're going to get root 3 minus 1. We'll just leave it like that. Root 3 minus 1. Sine goes to minus cos. So we're going to get minus 4 cos x between pi over 3 which is 60 and 0 which is obviously 0 so we're going to get minus 4 by the cos of 60 minus minus 4 by the cos of 0 which is 1 so that's going to be plus 4 and the cos of 60 is the same as the sine of 30 minus 4 by a half minus 2 plus 4 is equal to plus 2. We need to differentiate cos x and sine x this time. So cos goes to sine x, sine x goes to minus cos x between pi over 4, which is 45 degrees, and 0. So we get the sine of 45 minus the cos of 45. They're both the same, so it's going to be 0 minus the sine of 0 minus the cos of 0. So that's going to be 0 minus 0, and then we're going to get minus by the minus, we're going to get plus the sine of 0, which is 1. So the answer is plus 1. We need to go cos minus sine this time, so we're going to end up with cos x goes to sine x, we're going to get minus minus cos x, so plus cos x between pi over 2, which is 90, and pi over 4, which is 45. You can see what good knowledge of your unit circle and all those angles are handy here. So we're going to get the sine of 90, which is 1, plus the cos of 90, which is 0, minus sine of 45 plus the cos of 45 which are both 1 over root 2 
if I give one plus zero minus one over root two plus one over root two, one minus two over root two, and two over root two is equal to root two, just double check. So we're gonna get two root two on top and two on the bottom. You can see here, we're just gonna get one minus root two. Just tidy it up, one minus root two. Practice these definite integrals.